vegetable police here. So today I'm gonna measure my blood sugar. What happens when you're on a juice fast? You're drinking shoot, shoot sugar? Fuck, I suck in my brain. You're drinking fruit sugar, spiking your blood sugar. What's gonna happen? So I'm gonna test it. I got the blood sugar kit and my first meal of the day is a green juice celery parsley lemon that's it so i'm gonna measure my blood sugar right now and then half an hour after i drink the juice and then an hour after i drink the juice so i'm gonna do that for each juice today so let's see what happens so what the hell do hell do hell do vegans eat oh. all right let's do this there's no easy way to do it. Son of a bitch. All right, where are we at here? 5.1, so that's what I'm at in the morning, no breakfast. Now I'm gonna have my green juice. All right, it's been exactly half an hour since I finished the green juice. We're gonna do this again. Son of a bitch. Number is 5.2. So in half an hour, my blood sugar did F all. So green juice, for me at least, does not affect my blood sugar. So I don't think I'll need to test it again at an hour because it's not gonna do much, but okay, I figure I might as well test it at one hour after the green juice. Let's be scientific as shit. 5.3, so it steadily went slowly up to 0.2 millimoles. So that's very good. So green juice has very little effect on me. I'm gonna go make some coconut water right now. You can't make coconut water, you gotta open it. I'll show you how I do it. So this is how I open a coconut. It's very simple, you grab your cleaver and you do this. So that's about a cup and a third of coconut water. Let's see what that does to my blood sugar. All right, half an hour after the coconut water. Where's the blood? Oh my God, I didn't do enough of it. You son of a bitch. Okay, you shouldn't use the same thing twice, but go fuck yourself. 7.2, wow, so it, it rose quite a bit. That's still decent, but half an hour, we're at 7.2. So the green juice did nothing, but coconut water definitely spiked it a bit. Let's see what happens after an hour. I might work out a bit. Okay, one hour after the coconut, and I have just worked out. I just did a bunch of push-ups and pull-ups, and I just wanna see what that did. Did that lower my blood sugar? Holy shit. That really lowered it. Work out, folks. So, looks like my body just used all the sugar in my blood. Now I'm gonna go get some, make some grape juice. Let's see, I'm expecting a big spike after this grape juice, so we'll see half an hour after that. So there's my glorious grape juice. It's about a liter. You can see there's some fiber left in the juice, so I'm not straining it, but I will drink that slowly over the course of an hour. Give it a little taste. It's good, a little sour, a little sour, it's pretty good. So once I'm done, half an hour timer will be set. All right, half an hour after the grape juice. Oh, you bitch, got blood all over the place. 10.2, so that's the biggest jump so far. I think that's still within normal range, but we'll see what it looks like in the full hour. What's your guess for what it's gonna look like, Reggie? Eh, go fuck yourself. Okay, this is like 45 minutes after the last one. I had to go do some things on my bike. Oh, you bitch. Went for that bike ride. 7.2, so it's coming down. So definitely, obviously, the grapes have more sugar, so it would raise my blood sugar more. That's about it, see you next meal. Okay, I figured I would do a before since it's been like three hours since my grape juice. Figured I'd stick a little prick of blood just to injure myself. Okay, so dinner's gonna be 
celery, spinach, lemon with coconut oil and flax oil. So yeah, that's pretty low. So I'll test half an hour after this green juice and an hour after that, and then we'll wrap it up with a conclusion. Okay, so here's a half an hour after that green juice. And I'm curious because it had oil in it. I wanna see what effect fat had, if any, on my blood. 4.6, wow. So that did like nothing. That is super interesting. I kinda wanna just go on a green juice and like nut milk diet maybe. Oh, that would be so good. All right, it's been an hour. Hour after that green juice. Son of a bitch. 4.9. So it is slowly going up. That's the beauty of the fat, I guess. I am curious what would happen with a fruit juice with oil added to it. I'm a little scared to do it. Maybe with orange juice, because that's still a safe combo. So yesterday, interesting day. This is the day after to this video. So testing my blood sugars. I don't like that spike up at 10.2. That's like 183 for the other number if you want to convert it. That's quite the spike. That's like diabetes shit. So I'm gonna test grapes again, eating them whole. I wanna see if that blunts the spike. So I know the, sh the juice spikes me, but I've been testing this for years and I used to get those numbers on banana smoothies, on mango meals, on durian meals. It's like my body does not like sugar. God damn it. So. I kind of want to do a high fat diet. That's why I've experimented so much with this shit. So I'll let you know, I'll test my blood sugar after this half an hour, one hour, two hours, boom. Okay, so here's half an hour after just a meal of grapes, not juicing. Wow, I hate that so much. I will say right off the bat, I do feel noticeably better just eating the fruit. It's pretty obvious, I mean, blood sugar spike. So let's see what the number, oh my effing what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? That just does not make any sense in my brain. 13.2 from the grapes, same amount basically that I juiced the first day and now just eating them whole See what fruit does to me, but why do I feel so good? I think I'm on the fruit high and then I'm going to crash. I'm going to crash hard. Oh man. So I'll see what happens in another half an hour. Pray for me. All right, one hour later, I'm definitely starting to crash. I don't feel as good. I don't have my sugar high anymore. It's no fun, I tell you, this blood sugar roller coaster. So 11.8 after one hour, I think that's high. I think that is some diabetes shit. So I don't know, I might try weaning myself off the fruits, doing more of a high fat approach. Cause yeah, I just, I don't do well on fruit meals. So you can see all the people saying that, here, let me look at you. All the people that were saying you shouldn't juice the fruit because it'll spike your blood sugar. Well, in me, the whole fruit was worse. I, I don't understand how that's even possible with the fiber and everything slowing it down. I ate it slower, like weird. So fruits don't like me. So I feel tired. I want to sleep. I want to sleep. Yeah, I guess I'll do it. I'll measure in two hours, like after the meal. So one more weigh-in, blood sugar weigh-in in, in another hour. I'll see you then. All right, two hours later, I went for a walk, got some groceries. Oh, you son of a bitch. So I basically just laid down as soon as I filmed that last clip. I was tired as heck, crashing hard. 
then I went for a walk, figured, why not? So let's see, I should be a little lower. Holy shit. Okay, so we're back. We're back to normal. I do feel a little fatigued though. And I am hungry again, so it's like the roller coaster. You go up, sugar high, then you crash, and then you need food again, and you go up again, and you crash. I'm tired of that ride, man. It's so annoying. So, yeah, I'm gonna go eat some mangoes, ride that fucking Canada's Wonderland ride again. And here's my theory on why my blood sugars went high. I didn't exercise today. Before I just, I wasn't energized. I didn't feel like exercising. So before the grape juice yesterday, I did some pull-ups and push-ups. Not much, but a little bit. And I guess my muscles had a place for the sugar to go. And this time I did not do that. And then my blood sugar just raised up. So it's like in order to eat fruit, you have to exercise before every meal. And it's like, who wants to do that? I don't know if you want to do it. That's what like Durian Rider and Freely do. They ride their bike all day so they can eat that many carbs. It works if you do it like that. I don't, I'm not that guy. I just want to chill around and make videos, do some pull-ups here and there. I'm more of a strength-based athlete. You couldn't even consider calling me an athlete. Don't even try it. But I think I gotta switch my diet up to mimic that, to support that. You get what I'm saying, fuck yourself. So that's it. So I hope you learned something from my little blood sugar experiment. It's important to do these things yourself. You can't just read a book, oh, fruit-based diet's the best, okay, I'll do that. Why am I not feeling good? You gotta accurately test these things. Get a blood sugar monitor. They help a lot, but you can really see it, okay. I get tired when my blood sugar's high and I think I think it's the insulin that makes me tired, not the sugar, because I felt really good at 13.2 or whatever it was. I was feeling good, but until the insulin kicked in, and then that just brought me down. That brought me way down, down here now. So insulin, you're a son of a bitch. I'll get you, I'll get you. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. I'm squatting. That's my exercise for today. Okay. I used to eat a lot of meat. I realized I'm a piece of shit. But when I learned of how they die.